Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the 10 things we learned on our first MSC cruise right after this. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about the 10 things that we learned on our first MSC cruise. So we went on an MSC cruise on Seascape uh, a few weeks ago. We had never been on MSC before. We've been on so many Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Holland American, all the other cruise lines, Princess Carnival. Uh, we've never been on MSC. We had very, very low expectations. It's my biggest tip uh, that's not one of the top 10 is always have reasonable expectations. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give you the 10 things we think you need to survive your first MSC cruise. Number one, pre-book everything. So pre-book your excursions, pre-book your drink packages, your internet, your dining. We got on the ship and we heard a lot of people who were complaining or upset that they wanted to go on specific excursions. They wanted to rent a cabana at the private island. They wanted to do all these different things and they were sold out. That happens on every cruise line. This is really a universal tip, specifically Royal Caribbean and now MSC. I've seen it on firsthand. I've also seen it on NCL a little bit, but please pre pre book your excursions. Uh, and with your other things like the dining package, the drink packages and the internet, they are more expensive once you get on the ship. So don't him and haw over whether or not you want that drink package, especially on MSC, you can get one of the lower tier drink packages that isn't as expensive. We did a whole video on the drink packages this week. And it really is only a few drinks a day. So if you're going to have a few drinks a day, it probably makes sense, but don't him and haul and wait till you get on the ship because those are going to be much more expensive. Uh, special bonus tip of number one there, book your specialty dining if you're going to do it as soon as you get on the ship. We uh, booked one or two. We booked Ocean K and we booked um, something else the first day. And, oh, Ola Tacos. And then we went to Ola Tacos the first day and it was empty. There was nobody there. Second day we went to Sushi and we were the only people there. So we said, okay, we're just going to wing it and not book them. We'll book them whenever we want to go. And then towards the end of the cruise, everything was sold out. So we wound up not being able to go to Teppanyaki and we wound up having to eat at Butcher's Cut at like 10, almost 10 o'clock at night, uh, which was great. But if you're planning on doing specialty dining, book it as soon as you get on the ship. That way it's taken care of and you don't run into the issues that we ran into. So Number two uh, tip is take advantage of the outdoor spaces on this ship. It is amazing. It really reminds me of the NCL Breakaway, Breakaway Plus class ships, and even the new Prima class, which isn't my favorite class, but there's a ton of outdoor space on the ship, specifically on deck eight. The whole of deck eight has out some outdoor space. There is an infinity pool. There's bars. There's a gelato uh, stand. There are uh, infinity hot tubs on the sides of the ship. And one of my favorite spaces of all was the outdoor buffet. It's one of my, on the older NCL ships, the great outdoors is one of my favorite spots. So you can eat breakfast outside, especially on a port day um, when it's not really quite as crowded if you wait a little bit and go to breakfast. It is so nice to sit outside on a tropical island and eat breakfast and just have this amazing experience. So that's one of my biggest tips is really kind of take advantage of the outdoor space on the ship. Number three, take advantage of the status match program. MC, MSC Cruises is one of the only cruise lines that does a status match. They match with Royal Caribbean. They match with NCL, all of your major cruise lines. They also match with some hotel brands like Marriott and those things. That's a great perk. It's going to save you like 5% on your future cruises. It's going to give you some perks while you're on the ship. It's going to uh, give you some percentages off on your drinks, dining, and internet packages. So highly recommend taking advantage of that. Even at the highest tiers, you're going to get some uh, free gifts. You're going to get a pin. You're going to get uh, some laundry, uh, bottled water, different things like that. So please take advantage of that status match program. The next thing we're going to talk about is download and get yourself familiar with the MSC for me app. When you first download it and you're not on the ship, there's not a ton of functionality there. And it doesn't really work great on land. Um, it kind of takes you to the website and does different things. But once you get on that ship, it is really critical. It's going to have all of your information on there. One of the big things, it's going to have ship time on there. When you are on a cruise, one of the biggest things that you have to pay attention to is what is ship time? 
Your time zones may change. Your phone, is if it's not connected to the internet, or even if it is, it might not catch up right away because of the travel. So the last thing you want to do is miss a port, miss dinner, or miss getting back on the ship because you thought sail away was 530 and it's actually 630 because the time changed. So uh, it's one of the big things on your app on any cruise line. The app always has ship time. So you can always see what's going on. You can also chat with the MSC for me app, even if you don't have an internet package. It's a little clunky, um, but it's a nice feature to communicate with people if you don't want to pay for the internet for everybody. So download that app and really get yourself familiar with it. Next one we're going to talk about, number five, you cannot bring your own alcohol or drinks on the cruise. Most cruise lines will let you bring a bottle of wine or two per cabin, and even Royal Caribbean will let you bring some soda or water, bottles of soda or water up to 12. Uh, you cannot do that on MSC. It is not allowed at all. You're not allowed to bring any soda. You can bring some packaged uh, snacks and things like that, but they have to be closed. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're going on MSC, you cannot bring your bottles of wine. Uh, at this time, we'd love to ask you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we really appreciate it. It helps us out a ton. It helps us keep going on cruises and keep creating content like this. So next up, number six, the food is way better than anyone is talking about. So I had seen nothing but terrible reviews about portion sizes, taste, flavor, all these different things for MSC food. I thought the food was great. We ate in specialty dining. We ate at the buffet. We ate at the dining room. We ate at all the little kiosks. We ate on the private island. Everything we ate was very good. The pizza and the pasta are my bonus highlights. They were the best pizza and pasta I've had on a cruise ship. It's an Italian cruise line. That shouldn't be a big secret. The pizza is not like Neapolitan in Naples pizza or Connecticut, New Haven pizza. It's not that good. It's just good pizza for a cruise. It's better than Sorrento's. It's better than Alfredo's on Princess. It's better than any cruise line pizza I've ever had. So next up, number seven, cabins are bigger. Specifically, the inside cabins are bigger than I've ever seen on any other cruise line. Uh, Meg on our team was in an inside cabin and it was huge. Plenty of space, uh, lots of room to move around, lots of room for luggage. There was a desk in there, everything. It's really nice. We have a video of her room. We also have a video of my room. I was in an inside suite in the uh, yacht club. That was huge too. But specifically, the normal cabins were much bigger than normally on cruise ships. Number eight, get used to the announcements in multiple languages. I found it to be fun and impressive. So I was really impressed that the cruise director staff and a ton of people are able to speak multiple languages and have conversations with people in multiple languages, which is amazing. Uh, some people get annoyed at this. I'm not sure why they get annoyed at it. It is, it's not invasive. It doesn't take more than 30 seconds for some of the announcements. I also found out listening to a uh, cruise blog, Royal Caribbean blog, whatever, uh, one of those are the same people. But I found out that they do the primary announcement in the language of what the most guests on the ship are. So if they, it's primarily an American or British cruise, it's going to be English first. If it's in South America, maybe it might be Brazilian Portuguese first. If it's uh, in Europe, it might be Italian first. So they do announcements in English, uh, German, Italian, Spanish, and French. And then uh, sometimes Brazilian Portuguese, just so you know. Number nine, get a wearable device. You can buy them. Uh, if you're in the Yacht Club, you get a, a band anyway. You can buy the wearable devices. Then you get this wristband. You don't have to carry your card around with you. It works on your door. It works when you buy things. It can get wet. Um, it's really nice. I thought it was great. It's a great idea. Um, Royal Caribbean used to have the wow bands. I hear they're bringing them back. Uh, and I know Princess has the medallion and those things. It's really great. It's a great feature. It's the next evolution of... Uh, not having to carry your key card around, which is really great because God knows I've left that in the room a million times. And then last but not least, number 10, get your dress and theme on. If you're one of those people that loves parties and loves to dress up and pack some extra things, MSC is really well known for their parties. They do a sail away party, a white party, a glow party, some cruises has a sunshine party or a retro party, which is going to be like 60s, 70s kind of uh, garb. And then they do, at least on Seascape, they did a snow party, which was really cool. They had snow cannons down there blowing snow around and having a good time in the 90 degree uh, heat in the Caribbean. 
So uh, those are really fun. Those are our tips for surviving your first MSC cruise. I have one bonus tip, and that is when you get on the cruise ship, if you were, uh, if you haven't locked in your credit card ahead of time, there are kiosks all around the ship where you can put your uh, key card in and then put your credit card in. It'll associate those. Or you could even pay off your balance so you can go every day with cash or card and pay off your current balance. Last tip. Thanks, everyone, so much. We really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.